15th of March 2024. Hello, everybody. Sergey Baklukov, Baklukov live from St. Petersburg, Russia. The local time 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. And that's already a really great time. That's the time when uh, the sunset comes at 7 o'clock. Today, the sunset in St. Petersburg will come at 7 o'clock. The spring keep coming to Russia. Also, here comes the election, the president's, the presidential election 2024 in Russia, which will be started tomorrow on the 15th of March and will last for three days until the 17th of March. Three days Russians will have that to come to their local points where they can vote and they will let's get started our amazing walk and let's document it let's document it a day before the presidential election 2024 in st petersburg russia this week I traveled to the town of Volosovo in Leningrad Oblast, Leningrad region. Yesterday I was taking you to the town of Kirishi in Leningrad region. But now we are came back. We are came back. We came back to St. Petersburg. The northern capital of Russia, the cultural capital of Russia. The city which was the capital of Russian Empire for 200 years before the revolution of 1917. Everybody continue joining. Amazing time, amazing time in St. Petersburg. Today it's plus 4 degrees Celsius, though windy. But I hope my microphone, my uh, external microphone helps. Yes, uh, really windy today, so I... Uh, connected the microphone, external microphone. I came here to the corner of Nevsky Prospect and Ligovsky Prospect and I'm gonna cross it and I'm gonna say hi to everybody. Everybody, Barb Feiler, Shelly Vasquez, left of right, Silvana Hori, Platinum Pig, Oh, thanks so much for the first early super chat. I have a feeling Putin will win this time. Don't ask me how I know. It's just a hunch. Thanks for the super chats. And yes, I think that uh, Vladimir Putin will uh, win the election. I myself gonna vote for Vladimir Putin. No question about it. And uh, that's no doubt that among the Russian people, he has the highest support. Hello, Sweating Sausage. Look, uh, I'm the one who was born back in 1984. So I was seven years old when the USSR collapsed. So it's not that I remember much about the Soviet times, but definitely 1990s the worst time, the worst decade since World War II, since the end of World War II. I already was in my childhood and uh, teen ages. And I remember that time pretty well. I remember that time when uh, Russia was ruled by the uh, liberals. And uh, let me tell you that I consider this as the worst time in the history of Russia since the end of World War II. So, no way I'm going to give a chance to the so-called liberals, liberal opposition, call it however you want, again. So, I really, I really have a balanced opinion because, look, I'm 39 years old. I'm the one who, uh, I'm not, who not that young and not that old. So, you can tell me that, like, I don't know anything. You know, I remember the times of 1990s uh, and I went through 
the beginning of 2000s and like all of my life I live here and uh, I saw how everything was changing and uh, in a moment when you know the liberal opposition they love to um, appeal to like what was not done okay so I think it's wrong we need to appeal to what was done it makes no sense to it makes no sense poking me pretty often people are poking me into what was not done okay or not fixed since yeah the soviet times okay so because for me more important the dynamics of what was done so i don't need pointing to what wasn't done okay it wasn't done but let's also not forget and it's what more important what was done and this is funny how you know uh, mostly the liberal opposition uh, supported by the uh, younger people and uh, pretty often on the channels of those like liberals I see how for example 20 22 years old guy like really discussing about it and like trying to say that we even we like the uh, uh, generation of like 1980s 1990s and uh, we don't want to we don't want to move forward okay so we are too conservative and we don't understand gosh gosh vice versa we do understand because we know what it is not through uh, you know what we've been told but we went so we leave that and uh, we are not that old you to tell us that we don't understand something and in a moment when they are thinking that it's like not supporting the liberals it's like the way backward uh, for it's uh, it's like not it's the way backwards no it's vice versa it's the back forward because because the liberals they are the past of russia because they had 10 years the whole decade in 1990s to show what they can and I think that is completely failed. This is my opinion of uh, the person of the age of 39 who all of my life lived in Russia, who lived as in a uh, Ufa, which is like more provincial town. Yes, big, but provincial town. And the one who recently went to already over 110 cities and towns of Russia and like was traveling a lot. 97 percent of people of russia i think never traveled as much as i did okay never so i really know what i'm talking about you really can't tell me that i'm young enough you really can't tell me that i am old enough and you really can't tell me that i don't know russia you really can't tell me that i only know moscow and st petersburg how many people love to say this you know like recently i did it's already 110 cities and towns and people keep telling me that i only show moscow and st petersburg gosh only this week i went to volosova with a population of 12,000 residents yesterday i went to uh Kirishi with a population of 50,000 people and since the beginning of 2024 i've made it already like over 20 cities and towns so i see with my own eyes what happens and I see that Russia develops maybe not as much or not the way completely uh, some people want, but it develops. And uh, what about me? I think it develops pretty good. Okay. And uh, also, you can't call me biased because I am not funded by the Kremlin or the state. So that's what I can tell you as the person of the age of 39, okay? So you better listen to the guys like me, not those uh, mommy son looking guys in their age of 19, 20, discussing about us and about how we are mistaken. That we don't want to support 
the liberal opposition. Elena Maki, thank you so much for your super chats with my speech somehow. I almost missed that. Stay strong. Stay strong in Russia. You are the light of the world. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, that's what we are trying to stay strong and independent. That's it. Hello, crazy Bulgarian, good fella, swelling sausage Francesca D'Angelo. I say hi to everybody. We are walking amazing Nevsky Prospect, Nevsky Avenue. Prospect means avenue. Uh, documenting this day, the day before the beginning of the presidential election 2024. Great speech, Sergey Silvana. Yeah, thank you, but it's a really short speech. Short speech. Hello, Bridge and Tunnel Scooter Club. Hello, Jan Mortensen. Hi to Denmark. Yes, gosh, gosh, gosh. Beautiful, beautiful St. Pete's. Hello, Vladimir Akhramiev. Everybody, everybody, hello. Everybody, continue joining my awesome channel. This is the best Russian English language channel on YouTube. With no fake and no bullshit already since 2012. Hello, Maxim5078. Nevsky. As always, a maximum of beautiful ladies everywhere. Hello, Jean-Marc Pichand. Hello, Melody Hearts. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning from evening St. Petersburg. That's already the evening. Hi, Mark Davis. Hello, work where? Hi to England, where now there's afternoon. Hi, Ilnur. Hello, Nightbot. Hello, Akash Roy. Nushin. Hi, Olga Brisglova. The crack a boom. Hello to you too. It's windy today, gosh. But it's plus four degrees Celsius. Nothing can stop the spring anyway. Nothing can stop the spring. Hi Nevada Maverick. Does Russia have a mall of voting? Look, it's like in every neighborhood there will be the place to come where they will be at the commission and uh, that's where the bulletins you know the papers will waiting for the people where they will uh, make their vote 
Hello, tree share. Three hundred people online. It's awesome. Continue joining. Hi, T. Hi, Mark Davis, once again, and thank you for the super sticker. Everybody, enjoy the great time in St. Pete's. Beautiful St. Pete's. Hello, Leo Greener. Look, uh, here you say, uh, Leo Greener, I have been watching hours of your videos. It is the first time I saw two cops walking around. Those are not cops. Those are seems like, seems like cadets, like the students, the students of like a military college or something. Those were, were not even uh, the cops. Well, we had a lot of cops last weekend after the U.S. and British embassies made the security alert for all of their residents in Russia that they have an information that here are possible the terroristic attacks. Hello, Beanie Botches. But let me tell you that, in fact, nothing happened this weekend. I also was making my live stream from the streets of St. Petersburg in order to see how it is in Russia after that security alert. And we saw that people never cared because you can't threat the Russian people like that. You can't. Hello, hello Yaroslav. Yaroslav MacWolf. Hello, Brian Summers. Hi to Wales. Souvenirs. In the center of St. Petersburg, all snow is already gone. That one which is not melted itself was just cleared off. Renal Selks, for who you will vote? Look, now, just for 10 minutes, I explained for who I will vote, and you're asking me for who I will vote? Really? Really? Gosh. Hello, soothsayer. The corner of Nevsky Prospect and Fontanka River. It's getting even windier next to uh, the river. Hello, Murphys 55. Anichkov Bridge. Fantanka, look, little by little, it melts. Hello, Anber 13. Hello, Chantel, hi, Texas. Already in a month. the boats will come back and will start their boat rides.
I'm not sure why the sound is gone. Uh, seems like sometimes here here is a huge radio interference. Which is somehow affecting the frequencies of the microphone. And that's no good. Such a microphone supposed to have it's like how to say secured frequency coded coded frequency i mean this is really sucks uh, that i used to have a way cheaper microphone radio microphone and it was never it was never turning off I mean, because of the radio frequency interference. And this is now way more expensive microphone. And it's not the first time when uh, I'm losing the signal. And when I analyzed what happened, it's like it was jamming. Something was jamming the signal. When does spring start in Russia, fairy grandma? 1st of March, so the spring is already here. Officially, it's considered that the spring starts on the 1st of March. And if talk about, if talk about the spiritual, the spiritual coming of March, usually it happens like in the last day of Maslenica week, Maslenica, a butter week, Maslenica, that's the holiday of the spring and the holiday of the farewell of winter since a really old times, since ninth, at least ninth and tenth century of Russia, yet before Russia was baptized into Orthodox Christianity in 888, a pagan it's a pagan holiday. Uh, the Russian, old Russian Slavic tribes, they were the pagans until 888. Hi, Sergey Ivanov. Can you see your brother's store? Hello, Alice. Steen who is? So, finally, something what you were waiting for a long time. I have found a uh, beggar. You guys were asking me, where are the beggars? Okay, I have found one. Uh, write down the address. It's uh, Nevsky Prospect. Nevsky Prospect. House 54 or 56. Okay. I mean, I don't know. It's uh, one of the most popular questions. But usually it's uh, the leftists who are asking me that. Well, anyway, finally I have found one. Jean-Marc, I don't understand French, okay? So if you want to say something to me, you need to use English or Russian. Hello, Vittoria Tadeo. Hi, Dmitry Vovnyak. 
hi, Diana Blackburn. But look, this is how the business reacts. Putin and Tucker Carlson and Stalin and Kadyrov. Yet a month ago, there wasn't the masks of uh, Tucker Carlson. But after Tucker Carlson came here and did that epic interview with Putin, they got the mask of Tucker Carlson for sale. Along with the masks of Putin, Stalin. Hi, snowman. Little granny making Nordic walk. This is to kick that homeless loser sweating sausage. Yeah, as always, you are delusional. Passage. Oh. Here, usually, I'm coming to this store to check how it's going there. One of my most frequently visited grocery supermarkets, Euros Farm. Here we are trekking if uh, the sanctions finally begun an impact. Gosh, here's supposed to be no people. But why so many people? Gosh. Hey, somebody can tell me. Why so many people? What the hell? Meat. Meat. They also cook food that you can eat right here or just uh, take away like this rolls salads lots of sausages Somebody can tell me why so many people. Diary. My favorite milk, Domek в деревне, the house. with 3.2% uh, of fat. Jean Saint Martin joined a membership. Thank you so much, Jean. Everybody, everybody continue joining the membership. Oh, important to show, important to show. Uh, you see, these are the uh, eggs. And these are the real eggs. You see that? The real eggs. You see eggs, eggs. It's not, it's not just, uh, how to say, fake. Yeah, uh, it, this is for the first time when I really open up the books because the Russia haters, they are progressing every time. Every time they are giving me new challenges, okay? And every time when I respond to that challenge, they are creating the new ones to me. Like, for example, when I went to the mall, I went in the morning and they said, but there is nobody, 
not many people in the mall. Okay, I went to the mall when there were like a lot of people, but they told me it doesn't seem like people are with the bags. Okay, next time I started going to the mall when there are many people and uh, I started to film uh, the bags in their hands, okay? And recently I've been told that, okay, there were many eggs, but it's probably like a fake, you know? So what's need to open up the box and to show there's, there are the actual eggs. So this was for the first time when I actually opened the eggs box. Hello, Rick Payton. Hello, Tristan KC. Hello, William burning the tires. Hey, why the hell you need to burn the tires? By the way, this is the building of the Passage, the mall from 1848. You see, this is an older brother of GUM department store in Moscow. Uh, GUM department store was founded in 1894. So almost 50 years after they built the Passage here. Passage is smaller, but Passage is older. You see, so uh, the, in, the, uh, in the basement, there is Eurospar. And here it is Passage. Passage, in fact, it's uh, the mall of expensive brands. Mostly expensive brands here. Yeah. That's the sign of Maslenitsa, butter wick. That pagan, that pagan sign of Maslenitsa. Yeah, Russians are not into paganism already for uh, 11 centuries, almost. But, but, Maslenitsa is something what is still celebrated. However, Maslenitsa here is never represented as a pagan holiday. It's just more like a folk, folk holiday. Just a folk holiday, uh, ancient folk holiday, the holiday of the coming of spring. Hello, John Carlo. Hi, Madina Agueva. Hi, Julia Hopper. This is Passage. And I'm coming back to where I stopped on Nevsky. So uh, I guess you understood that I've made it, uh, my walk back and forth. I went to one side to another street at first one side through the grocery supermarket Yevros Park and returned through the Passage. You see, and here I am in uh, Nevsky Prospect again. So let's keep walking. The local time 6.38, 22 minutes until the dusk. This is a bookstore. Also, why so many people? Even in a bookstore. Hello, Sammy J. The restaurant called Balkan. Serbish, Greek, Bulgarian cuisine.
they are gonna enjoy the Balkan meal now, same as these girls. Hope you all enjoy Nevsky. Ar Armenian Christian Church. Hi, Bob Rohrer. Hello, Slavica. Slavica Pasadic. Hi, Rupert. Rahul Pandey. Hello, Sophie Daniels. Mars Hall. Jordi Ardireo. Heights of Barcelona. You remember I told you how you need to walk in St. Petersburg. It's like you're springing, yes, and it's spring, so you need springing. Here you really enjoy your time. Hi, KV. Here is Freddie, Freddie of Mercury. Another one bites the dust. Nice. This is a rock pub. Amazing rock pub. And this is Grand Hotel Europe. Pre revolutionary hotel and a pre revolutionary philharmonic hall. Now named after Dmitry Shostakovich. Where for the first time. They performed the 7th Leningrad Space Symphony of Dmitry Shostakovich in St. Petersburg back then, back then called Leningrad. And that's the St. Michael's Palace, Mikhailovsky, Mikhailovsky Dvorets. Now that's the Russian Museum. The Russian Museum, the museum with the largest collection of exceptionally Russian arts for more of its uh, thousand years history. The flowers. Hey, the International Women's Day is over. And the guys actively keep buying the flowers. Hi, Barbara Rovindal. 500 people online. I say hello to everybody. You did the right thing that now you tuned in into my channel. My channel is Baklikov Live, Russian Now. And this is the best Russian channel, the best Russian English language channel, where I'm always showing you what happens in Russia. Moscow, St. Petersburg, and 110 more towns. I'm always in field, never I'm sitting in my living room or in the kitchen whining, whining about Russia. For the joy of Russia, folks, no, not my thing. This is St. Catherine Basilica, it's Catholic Church.
trolleybus. Vladimir Lenin and Mickey Mouse. Vladimir Lenin, the leader of world proletariat and the founder of the Soviet Union. After the end times, thank you Baklikov for your beautiful work and efforts. Really like your presence and positive energy. Yeah, thanks so much. Oh, hi man. Hi man, how are you doing? Ты давно меня не видел? Да. Или это был? Не знаю. Я постоянно, я почти каждый день стримлю. Просто я в Петербурге. Нет, стримы я видел, а именно тут не видел. А, так я же сейчас делаю, видишь, акцент на road tripы. То есть я в течение недели стараюсь там ездить по городам. Вот я был вчера в Киришах, а поза, а поза вчера в Волосово. Такие два города. Да, Волосово. Кириши. Но у меня сейчас Кириши пока там закрыт. Да, ну, типа, ну, да. да, ну и сначала я закрываю, потом через некоторое время они появляются. А, вот. типа премьера, ну, типа, как есть, да. да. Как бы это называется ранний доступ для мемберов. Да. Вот. Кстати, я вот недавно, я смотрел, ты был тоже на этом Cinema Medley, помнишь, два? Там, я а, да, да, да. Я на них ходил три раза, мне офигенно зашло. Ну да. Я еще пойду потом в Ледовый на... Я Фонтин. не ходил, потому что в прошлом году я ходил. Нет, сейчас они еще в этом ледом будут. Тем не менее, как бы не вижу смысла снова снимать. Ну, нет, там другие, другие песни. Ну, посмотрю будут. тогда, посмотрю. Там, ну ладно, мэн. Там, подожди, ты на второй части был, там охотники за привидениями ага. были. А вот в первой части там они без гора, но там с пираты Карибского моря есть. Ну как бы там другие чуть-чуть песни. Понял. Но, ну, посмотрю, посмотрю, посмотрю. Ладно, мэн. Nice to see you. И по поводу 30 марта посмотри. Хорошо. Гляну. Гляну. Давай, man. This is the museum of human tortures. And this guy, all the time here, as the promoter, is working as the promoter in the costume of executioner. He giving the posters, like inviting the people to go to the museum of human tortures. And this is the small hall of St. Petersburg Philharmonic. There was a grand hall on Mikhailovsky Street. This is small hall. Rachmaninov, Tchaikovsky, Prokofiev, Borodin, Mussorgsky. Oh, gosh. That's all the St. Petersburg Philharmonic hall. The classics best world classics all the time the best russian composers ever the entrance to nevsky prospect metro station that's the uh, blue line of st petersburg metro by the way when you go here <laughs> immediately the temperature becomes like at least four or five degrees warmer yeah such a warmth always comes from there Another flower shop. Uh, the corner of Nevsky Prospect and the embankment of Grybayev Canal. One of the most picturesque uh, corners in St. Petersburg. Look, Kazansky Cathedral, the house of Zinger. Built in 1904, it was the headquarters of Zinger Sewing Machines Company in Russian Empire back in 1904. This is Arnuvo, Arnuvo, uh, an architect Pavel Suzor. Look here in this part, that's the headquarters of VK.com, the largest social network in Russia. And uh, on these first two floors, the house of the book bookstore, and yet in the basement, actually three levels. Usually here perform the musicians. I don't know, maybe too early yet. This is uh, one of the most popular places for street musicians to perform, if you remember.
there we go. Clear of canal. You see also little by little melt. I see the water. The upper, the upper layer of this ice turns into the water, which is nice. And this is Church of the Savior on spilled blood. Literally built on the blood of Tsar Alexander II, who was assassinated there, assassinated by the liberals. Meanwhile, 10 minutes until the dusk. Oh my, look. Gosh. Gosh. Dude. Did you buy the driver's license? natural cycle it's still windy in st petersburg but i hope my microphone with the windshield helps i hope so this is the bookstore this bookstore is always super crowded That looks so, how to say. Intelligent, or how to say. Yeah, intelligent. Quasi. High class. Maybe even nice place for dating. A really nice girl. Not a frigging slut. The garden of the Kazansky Cathedral. little by little it is melts fountain in the winter time you remember here they have that uh, sphere with uh, seen the nativity of Jesus How do you like it? How do you like it, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen. You hear me? Gosh. An architect, Andrei Voronikhin. It's interesting that he used to be a serf, but uh, in 19th century, but he had the talent of an architect and Count Stroganov gave him a freedom and paid for his architectural education. And what we've got? We've got Kazansky Cathedral. Everybody can get inside of Kazansky Cathedral. It is considered as 100% church.
so they never charge people here never charge for entrance and uh, here it's uh, allowed to film usually you know I still not sure uh, why like about a half of churches they prohibit to film inside about a half of churches uh, they allow to film Uh, usually, you always just need to look on the uh, signs. Usually, if it's prohibited to film, there's like video camera or photo camera with a red line crossed. Look, it's called Kazansky Cathedral because, because it's uh, the church uh, of the Kazan icon of the Mother of God. It is located there, you see. So people, when they are coming here to St. Petersburg, many people are coming here, like uh, they are not living here. So they coming to uh, St. Petersburg, they have a limited time and they are coming to the icon and uh, pray to the icon. It's very significant for Christians to pray to the uh, Kazan icon of the Mother of God. And you see here always, there's always such a lines in order to get to touch that icon. The singing that you hear now, it's a live singing. Nice acoustics. All right, but let's continue. Let's continue our amazing walk today, documenting, documenting St. Petersburg, Russia, a day before the uh, Russia's presidential election 2024. And meanwhile, it's two minutes to seven, two minutes until the official, until the official desk. I would say sunset, but no sun you see today. So I call it desk. My name is Sergey Baklikov. This is Baklikov Live, St. Petersburg, Russia. Everybody, continue joining my channel. You see, my channel totally the best. This is the best Russian English language channel. Because nobody, nobody, nobody show you more of Russia than I do. Nobody. Nobody, not even close. Hello, Yena Shanko. Hello, Martin. And Lol Mao. Five hundred forty-five watching. Smash that like button. Yeah. How come five hundred fifty watching and only three hundred seventy likes? Gosh, 
Are you okay? I mean, to hit, to smash the like button is the smallest thing that you can do. Hi, Jan Norbo. Do you ever relax? Yes, I relax. Even now I relax. Well, in St. Petersburg I relax, you know. Sometimes when I go to completely new uh, locations, cities, towns, I've never been to, I'm not that relaxed. Uh, because I'm like all the time checking the map. Uh, because, well, often I'm coming and immediately start filming. So it's not like me at first coming, exploring, and then filming, no. I don't have that much time. But here in St. Petersburg, where I know everything, I'm feeling relaxed. Seven o'clock. Meanwhile, seven o'clock. Hi, Silvio Nunes. Hi to Costa Rica. <laughs> this is a great, unique store. It is called... Well, I thought it's called Composer. different I was making the vlog about this store this is the largest store of uh, music scores music shit here because they are the publishers themselves they are themselves making making the scores for all kinds of instruments. Malai Kainushina, small horse stable streets. Katusha, the restaurant, Russian cuisine, Katusha, that's a sweet form of the name Yekaterina, Catherine. And also there's a very popular song called Katusha. Uh, and uh, guess what? Let's say in Baltic countries, now that song is officially uh, prohibited band as one of the most recognizable symbols of Russia and they prohibit everything Russian and recently now many of those countries started kicking out uh, the cars with the Russian license plates they gave the deadline until what's a day. Um, all the uh, Russians now staying in Baltic countries or have to change the license plates to the local license plates or to leave. Otherwise, the cars will be confiscated and uh, some cars already confiscated. Tracy Smith You know what's this? This is Большая Конюшина Grand Horse Stable Street You see? And now there will be the light They turn on the light
Hello, Doris Bergmeier. Hello, Irina Denisova. Thank you for watching from Estonia. And thanks for being an adequate, adequate Estonian. This is one of Stolova number one. Oh, look, Olivia sell it just 55 rubles. Gosh, Piroshki, 40 rubles. It's uh, 40 cents and like 55 cents. Stolova number one, 24 seven. By the way, the cheapest place to eat in St. Petersburg. And this is char grilled burgers from Carl's Jr. Stroganov, Count Stroganov Palace. It's also a part of Russian Museum. In the regular hours, everybody may come and uh, not only like to watch the arts represented in this museum, but just the interior of this awesome palace. Stroganovs, they were one of the uh, richest families in Russian empires. Empire. Well, enough to say that it is located actually like almost next to the Winter Palace, the Imperial Palace, the main Imperial Palace. William Scanlon. The corner of Nevsky and Moika. Moika River. Gosh. Look at this. Gosh. High human. Gosh. This really worth a like. Петербург, Петербург, величие, мощь. Это невероятнейшая квинтэссенция истории, культуры, архитектуры, живописи, науки, технологий, литературы и музыки. Петербург, Россия. Петербург. Красивее Ленинграда моего, а в целом мире нет, нет красивее Ленинграда моего. These girls laugh at me. But I know I'm singing weird. But 
I mean, you never care how weird you're singing when you're just singing for your soul. It's my soul was singing. That's the main thing. Trolley bus. Trolley. I dread match of one. All right, all right. 15 unique amusements. See this? Uh, labyrinths, upside down house, prison break, inside of the human, the museum of illusions, and stuff like that. If I understand well, it's located somewhere here. Hi, C. Finster. Good evening. Hi, Kirill Tereshenko. Hello, Lydia. Madina Goeva. This is the photo exhibits dedicated to the siege of Leningrad. Almost 900 days. Leningrad, that's how St. Petersburg was called in the Soviet years, was under the siege of the Nazis. A rock star cafe. St. Isaac's Cathedral and uh, here now where the beautiful gardens around um, St. Isaac's Cathedral from one side there's an Alexander Garden from another side St. Isaac's Garden they were growing up the vegetables yeah because it was a hangar you remember I told you that most of people died just because of the hangar the general headquarters and that's our main square the palace square because it's the square before the winter palace the main imperial palace right until the revolution now that's hermitage the largest art museum in the world. See that? 1754, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, an architect, Francesco Bartolomeo Rastrelli, Italian architect. Back then, Peter the Great invited all the best architects from all over the world Alexander Colum the most interesting thing about about Alexander Colum is that it is staying here under its own weight there is no any additional fixation and there was the time in 1830s when it was erected here. People at first were afraid to be close to it because 
they really thought that it may fall down. But you see, uh, already almost 200 years after it is still here. And it survives even the World War II. General Headquarters, which is now, by the way, also a part of the Hermitage. The collections of the Hermitage are as big as... Uh, they can't be allocated in only one building of the Winter Palace. And even, and even the General Headquarters is not the only... It is not... Uh, uh, it's not allocate the old rest collections of the Hermitage. There is yet the building of the new Hermitage and some more buildings. Huh? Uh, uh, I have English You sure? I think it's in English. Yes, I think it's in English. Because my channel is the best English channel in Russia. The Okay. Okay. Baklykov Life. Baklykov Life. Это лучший английский канал России. Потому что я езжу по всей России. Никто не снимал столько России, сколько я. Да. Да. Баклыков Лайф. Ну там просто можно писать по-разному. Хоть по-русски, хоть по-английски он находит. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. She thought I'm a foreigner and she wanted to talk to me, but I said I'm not. Uh, I'm just uh, making my best Russian English language channel. And uh, so she wrote down the name of my channel. All right, all right, dudes. St. Isaac's Cathedral and this is Admiralty. Now there is the headquarters of Baltic Fleet of Russia but back in the days there was the ship building plant which has uh, produced like over 250 ships for all its history. Yeah it was a comfortable place for ship building plant because there was already a Neva River I'm the one who always in the field, okay? Always in the field. I'm not sitting in my living room, but sitting in quietly. That's, by the way, the beginning of Nevsky Prospect. Nevsky Prospect. So, in fact, Nevsky Prospect goes like from almost one embankment of Neva. Then Neva goes there all the time, then like making the turn again and going to the east and uh, Nevsky Prospect goes until another embankment of Neva River and Neva River is the main river of St. Petersburg it is connecting the Gulf of Finland which is a part of Baltic Sea with Lake Ladoga and through Lake Ladoga you can get an access like to all over Russia 
through Svil River you can get to Lake Onega, through Lake Onega, through the White Sea and Baltic Canal. You can get to many rivers of Russia and uh, also you can get to Volkhov River through Ladega and that's exactly how um, Rurik, the founder of Russia, he came to this land. Back then there wasn't Leningrad region, there wasn't St. Petersburg in 9th century, 862, but it was a uh, land of old Slavic tribes and then later it turned to be a Novgorod land because in two years after the foundation of Russia, the state of Russia in uh, Veliki Novo, in Stare Ladiga moved a little bit to the south, 200 kilometers to the south to the town of Novgorod, which is now called Veliki Novgorod I was taking you there so many times Shaverma Bistro 24-7 coffee shop called Shokoladnitsa Chocolate box Another 24-7 Stalova number one. Stalova is like a buffet. Buffet. Yeah, people here, you see, they are going along the line, taking whatever they like and then pay and they sit down and they eat. Everything is really cheap. 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 And this is Wawelberg Hotel, the lobby bar of Wawelberg Hotel. Wawelberg Hotel in the historic house of Wawelberg. Wawelberg was one of the rich mofos back in the 19th century who built this building. Now here is Wawelberg Hotel and that's one of not many dark buildings, dark buildings in St. Petersburg because you remember I told you before that, well, once St. Petersburg is really far not the sunniest cities in Russia to say the least. So uh, right from the beginning Peter the Great gave a uh, decree that all the buildings must be painted into the uh, bright colors so you see mostly it's all painted in bright colors but this one it's dark gray and uh, Wobbleberg had to pay like a fine all the time for that but I think it's nice so it's like around all this mostly bright or pastel colored buildings it's like like now, like a little, how to say, little exception. Hi, Kevin Marks. Boga King here on the second floor. On the other side of the street, there is McDonald's called Vkusnei Tochka. Now, uh, here is the entrance to the deepest metro station in Russia. Not only in Saint Petersburg, but in Russia, it's called Admiralty. Because you see, here is next to Admiralty. This is, by the way, 
the closest metro station to such an object as uh, Winter Palace, St. Isaac's Cathedral, Admiralty. By the way, here on the on the ladder, there is the museum mock up, the museum mock up model of an old Saint Petersburg. You see, they are completely recreated how Saint Petersburg looked in its early days. Uh, let me remind you, Saint Petersburg was founded in 1703. So here, mostly how Saint Petersburg looked like in 18th century. I was there and it was nice. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, Zenit. Oh, the game was yesterday. Zenit Dynamo. Well, I don't really follow for football club Zenit. Zenit is big here and it's uh, in fact now the best football club of Russia like for the last four years they were winning the Russian Football Premier League championship but the thing is you know I am initially from Ufa and in the city of Ufa it's all about the hockey and the hockey club Slovakia Live who recently really pissed me off. They really freaking pissed me off because they got kicked off the playoffs. Yes, finally, they lost to that freaking tractor, hockey club tractor from Chelyabinsk. Gosh. Gosh. And Slavatilev got a third place in the regular season. Third place in the regular season. And they were kicked off with just a tractor in one eighth of the final. They freaking pissed me off. They pissed me off. You hear? And that's the residential building where lived, works, and died. Piotr Tchaikovsky. Oh, oh. Everybody knows Piotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. You guys know Piotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Even if you are thinking that you don't know Tchaikovsky, I bet you know his music. You just don't, you maybe don't know it's Tchaikovsky, but you know his music. Oh, party bus, bar bus. There is now the discotheque. I can hear the music. I can hear the bass. So there's discotheque. Discotheque. Hi, Tom Tom. Lydia, Lydia. I was in Chelyabinsk about two weeks ago. Я был в Челябинске всего две недели назад, и сейчас вы говорите мне, чтобы я туда приехал, там поснимал, когда я был две недели назад в Челябинске. С вами все в порядке? Lydia here said that she is from Chelyabinsk and that I have to come there and to film there. And I said, it's been only two weeks since I was in Chelyabinsk. And now, and now, you are telling me to come there again, that I have to come there again, when I was there just two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks ago, two weeks. Two weeks. Wait, that's quite where 
that woman get her two weeks two weeks two weeks This is the street which is called Male Marskaya, small marine street. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, St. Isaac's Cathedral Gosh Our Orthodox Christian Cathedral On the 7th of Ju January I was taking you here For the Orthodox Christmas service And that video turned to be a hit That's one of the places where I really love finishing my live streams. Yeah, look at this. St. Petersburg, St. Isaac's Cathedral, Aesthetics. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching today. My name is Sergey Baklukov. This was Butler of Life with a big presidential election 2024 in Russia. I documented this day here on the streets of St. Petersburg. Bye, guys. Never forget to comment, like, subscribe, and uh, be here. Of course, I want to make a, a final panorama. Still windy in St. Petersburg. Windy but warm today. So nothing can stop the spring. From St. Petersburg, from Russia, from Baklikov Live, with love and peace.